80% of people can't answer this simple maths question. Can you? What happens when you take YouTube, add viral videos, a much looser copyright system, and a curious man who will not stop singing? My friend, it equals three. You see what I did there. Which was the name of the show headed by Ray William Johnson, which was once indisputably the biggest show on YouTube. I mean, enormous. Robin Williams was on this show, and it led to Johnson being the most subscribed creator on YouTube for years. Well, a year and a bit. And yet, if you mention his name to a lot of Zoomers, they say things like, huh? Who? Bah? And, you know Squidward got that squid whistle. Although that's not related, that's just a thing that Zoomers say. Well, we say. But, much like everyone we cover on this show, the fascination around Ray's success is only matched by the fascination with asking, where did he go? And why would a guy with one of the most successful YouTube channels in history suddenly just up and quit? All will be revealed as we ask, what happened to Ray William Johnson? Ray rose to prominence in 2009 with his channel Ray William Johnson, a channel which housed his soon hugely successful show Equals 3, a kind of clip show commentary show where Ray would showcase the most interesting web clips of the moment along with Ray's insightful commentary. Like he would say, damn, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> or there'd be a hippo and he'd be like, is that your mum? <laughs> Stuff like that. It was actually quite ahead of its time, and speaking ahead of its time, it also launched a Spanish language version of the show called Iguala Tres, which uh, roughly translates to the American man brings forth laughter from the hills, which also proved hugely popular. His channel also housed his music project Your Favorite Martian, which was a comedy band which was based on the most basic humor you can possibly imagine. Except for the one time, they were also just wildly transphobic. And that video is still online. Don't watch it. In 2011, Ray became the most subscribed person on YouTube, a title he held for exactly 564 days until he was overtaken by Smosh, who, interestingly, were the first channel to be the most subscribed on YouTube. Ray hosted his last episode of Equals 3 in 2014, and then the show was taken over by a series of guest hosts, which I remember from the time being wildly controversial. The first few hosts got loads of dislikes. Remember dislikes? Ray then ended the show completely in 2018, by which point he'd already basically disappeared from YouTube to pursue production projects in traditional Hollywood to mixed results. Why do people with massive online audiences always want to give it all up and try and make it on TV? You've already made it! Ray has now returned to YouTube and has a channel where he posts YouTube shorts that get just millions of views. This man, whether you like him or not, has an uncanny ability to just hoover up views. It's actually insane. I mean, it's kind of the same business model as before, where he's showing other people's videos and sort of showcasing them, but I'm sure, or I hope, he's like getting the rights to those videos and stuff. Not like back in the day when you could just post anything on YouTube. And as always, he's adding his cussing social commentary. <laughs> I act like this show is like... <laughs> politics. So there we go, from the most subscribed, probably most famous YouTuber, to disappearing entirely, to being back again with 12 million subscribers. Not too shabby. Not quite as successful as YouTuber News, but definitely up there. Who would you like to see us cover next on What Happened To? We've already covered FPS Russia, Fred, and even Jenna Marbles, because Jenna Marbles did famously leave the internet. If you want to see those episodes, you can catch them on Snapchat or over on TikTok. In the meantime, let us know in our YouTube comments or tweet us at YouTuber News, or I guess our TikTok comments, or our Bebo Prime private messages or you could walk up to us in Club Penguin and uh, come into our igloo and write it on the wall or I mean it's just you know I'm sure you'll find a way to get the message write it on a piece of paper and give it to a pigeon and it'll fly to the office all right find a way to send us a message and maybe we'll cover your stupid YouTuber all right <laughs> Jesus Christ see you next time